All right. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you for joining today's KV Core webinar training. Today, we're going to be going over hashtags in KV Core. I want to remind you we have a KV Core training weekly, and you may register for our training through the AGIUniversity.com events calendar to learn more great tips to help you get more comfortable using the KV Core system. So today we're talking about hashtags. And let's see, what is a hashtag? So hashtags allow you to categorize and control your database, your landing pages, and your squeeze pages, as well as analytics in your KV Core platform. Hashtags are a great way to keep that constant contact with them and it's amazing. There's some examples here that I've been able to put in um, that you may use for your database or landing pages or squeeze pages. So we have here first time home buyer <clears throat> would be a good one. We have San Diego County. Maybe you'd like to um, hashtag a community or an area. Uh, VA approved will allow you to email these um, people who are VA approved already. Uh, maybe you want to send an email out. Maybe there's something new uh, that VA approved would benefit from. So you would have multiple people as VA approved, as well as a newsletter. If you wanted to create a newsletter and you wanted to have that newsletter sent out to the people who have subscribed or wanted to know about your newsletter, you can hashtag these people as newsletter. Maybe you want to keep track of all of the birthdays for your database. So maybe you'd want to have um, April birthday would be a good one or senior living. Uh, 55 and over. Maybe you have a niche, something you want to um, categorize them as, of course. And then pre-approved is always a good one. <laughs> um, this allows you to, like I said, send emails, keep in track of your database. It allows you to keep track of your um, keep track of your analytics and whatnot. So I'm going to go to our KV Core platform and show you exactly where you're going to be able to utilize these. Well, there's a couple places you can add them in. Here I'm on our KV Core dashboard. And one of the quickest ways to be able to add one is by utilizing the Quick Actions tool right here at the top of your screen. So Quick Actions, you'd be able to add a note. And you can use the contact name. So say for myself, I want to put a um, hashtag. And I'm going to hashtag just got off the phone with my lead and they or sent me an email or a text or whichever and they wanted to know more about um, my newsletter so i'm going to get them on that newsletter and i'm just going to hashtag newsletter here i'm going to save that and so now when i go into my smart crm i'll be able to look up everyone with that hashtag so here i'll put in the hashtag as newsletter and everyone with newsletter is going to pop up. This is a way for you to be able to search your database as well. So we have newsletter, or maybe you wanted to just delete all your test leads, or maybe you wanted to, um, again, pre-approval. So pre-approved, you'd put that in. Maybe, I think you get the point. Another way for you to be able to add hashtags to multiple people at a time, so maybe you wanted to hashtag all of your friends. Um, so you'd be able to click all of your friends, either on the left-hand side or maybe the sphere of influence, whichever. You could go to more actions here and add a hashtag by selecting add hashtag. So you'd select add hashtag. It'll let you know how many contacts were selected as well as which hashtag you'd like to add. So I'm gonna put in here friends. And now if I were to update that tag, everyone right here is going to be tagged with that. You could get pretty creative here as well. Um, so that's always fun. Now, another place you would be able to add a hashtag, say you're going through this person's information here and you wanted to add a hat excuse me, add a hashtag here. So you're going to select add a hashtag and you could do it just one by one. But I wouldn't necessarily say this is the quickest way to add a hashtag, but you certainly can. 
I'm going to close this window out. Another way for you to be able to keep track of those leads is by adding hashtags to your landing pages and your squeeze pages. Um, we at KB Core are doing a KB Core setup and I hashtag all of the landing pages and squeeze pages pertaining to either the area that you wanted your um, buyer squeeze page to be in and or I would hashtag all of the leads with sand, seller landing page um, when I'm creating a seller landing page. And so you'll be able to see the source performance, I believe it's in here, and you can select the source and just put in the hashtag in here as seller landing page. And now you can put in to see how many people have clicked on that, you've gotten their information. Um, Excuse me, I think I've got that in here. System source, hashtag, oh, sorry. So system source and seller landing page would go right here. And so you would have that hashtag in. Of course, I don't have it on here right now because I haven't used it and I haven't had any, um, any clients or anyone come into my database utilizing that hashtag. But again, this is where you would have it and you'd be able to see how many contacts were created within the last month um, just from that hashtag. I've said hashtag a million times. I hope you're following along here. Um, you'll also be able to see the source breakdown and you can select multiple hashtags, I believe, um, from this option right here. And then you'll just be able to update it here. Okay, so let's see if I can put in the newsletter. We can see how that works. Newsletter, um, total, we'll see four news, new leads from the newsletter created in the last month. Um, and you kind of get the point. There are so many ways that you could actually utilize these. Again, you can send out, let's see, so we had the analytics, um, seller landing pages, uh, buyer squeeze pages, and then another way is sending out that newsletter. So say now I wanna send out a newsletter. I can send out the either, I could create a campaign with a newsletter and you can send it to all of the hashtags that way. And that's going to be in the marketing autopilot under the smart campaigns. Um, you could create your newsletter and have a campaign already for that. And you can start your campaign just to those specific people on that hashtag. You can also utilize the scheduled mass emails and hashtag only those people. And another way you can use it is in your listings. So you're going to go to the listings tab. Say you had um, certain areas that you you know, people wanted to go in. So like maybe a hashtag San Diego County as, uh, so you have San Diego County, you'll select the cup, a uh, few properties here, whichever properties you feel like will really work with these people. Maybe they're the senior living community or, or whichever. So you could email or you could text it to those hashtags that way as well. All right. Um, that's kind of all I've got for today. I hope I didn't confuse y'all, um, but I hope you did learn something. Uh, one thing I do also want to point out is our KV course setup. I did kind of go over that a little bit, but I just want to show you where you can find it. We are doing, we've been able to launch a KV course setup for our agents to be able to help you kind of get your feet on the ground with the KB Core um, website and your seller landing page, your smart campaigns and whatnot. Now to be able to access it, you would go into the ajiuniversity.com dashboard, select on getting started, and you could see the option right here under KB Core Setup. And if it's something that you may be interested on, um, in getting, you'll be able to utilize it and see all that is here. Just go down and select let's get started. But that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed our, uh, our KV Core webinar for the day. Thank you all for joining me and I hope to see you all next week. Bye everyone.